Mind of Rez is back. Chat, do y'all remember Mind of Rez? Bro, he used to be in a 2K community back, 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 back in the day in like 2K18. And then he had those videos with his little brother pop off. And he just, he went on his Fortnite shit. And his channel took off, bro. Like 4 million fucking subs. Nigga was posting daily videos on his like, yo, my little brother and me playing Fortnite shit. And then he just vanished. I always wonder what the fuck happened to him. You already know. And today, whew, oh my goodness. I need some water, man. I need some water for this, man. Because been in the gym. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I've been holding in that energy for three years almost, man. So, whoo, let's save that energy for more towards the end of the video. So in this video, I want to tell you guys that I am officially back on YouTube, all right? I am officially back on YouTube because I am ready. I know it's been a very, very long time, and I didn't tell you guys that I was going to leave YouTube. I actually said in my last video that I was going to post every single day, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, YouTubers be lying out there, bro. I do it sometimes, too. I'm not going to lie. Tell them that you're going to go daily right before you vanish for years is <laughs> the most YouTubers to lie. <laughs> Yo, so <laughs> I owe you guys a very, very deep apology and also a very good explanation of why I've been gone, man. And um, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off by doing a mini recap of what happened when I was in California. All right. That was one of my last videos that I posted and it was titled why I stopped posting on YouTube. OK. And the first reason why is because when I moved to California, I didn't feel like myself, man, all right? I would admit that. That shit happens, chat. I was, like, homesick. It didn't feel like home. It was such a big house. I felt lonely, you know, very empty. And um, I actually left my entire family in the East Coast when I went to California. Of course, I had Shibu, what is your fucking problem? Rest, but, you know, I left my friends, my family. It felt like I was starting a whole new life, man. And I will get more into that later on, but... um. Yeah, I didn't feel like myself, and that's when everything started going downhill, right? Um, I was still grinding, still doing videos, as you guys saw. So as many of you guys may know, Juice World was actually my favorite rapper, and in one of the videos that I posted during Christmas, my mom surprised me with a picture of Juice World, and I said I was going to get that picture autographed by him, and unfortunately, that couldn't happen because he passed away during the time that I stopped uploading. Then right after that, Kobe Bryant, one of my idols, man, Mamba Mentality, oh, he's actually man. the one who motivated me to have this type of mentality, you know, to grind no matter what, and... um. Him being such a big idol, it really hit me when he passed away. He was actually nine minutes away from where I was living in California when he passed away, man. Crazy. Yo, California chat is like a fucking dystopian society. When you go there, it's kind of like people are... How do I say this? They're not living life. They're playing like they're living life. They're not really living it. And everybody is like on a social hierarchy. And if you have status, they will 100% be got got 3000 down their fucking throats to make sure they can climb using you. It's a sport there. And it's so normal, which is why you hear everybody in California saying shit like everyone in LA specifically saying shit like, yo, like it's so much snakes, fake people, fake people, fake people. But the, the people saying that are also... Bro, it's such a weird place. Awesome place to visit. Weather's great. Beach is awesome. Uh, kind of dirty sometimes. Like, the people are there are very diverse, cool shit like that right there. But, yo, bro, L.A. is not a place to live, man. Unless you grew up in that area, unless you grew up in that area, and then you got a lot of love for it and history in that place, it's not a place to move to, bro, unless you have to be in entertainment. If you have to be in entertainment, I get it. Uh, Let me... Oh, uh, no, we're playing GTA. We're in queue right now. We're waiting for the shit to download. Actually, what's it at? Okay, it's still downloading. What is it actually downloading over and over again? And I never told you guys this, but Jaden was having mental behavior issues when we moved to Caddy, like a few months after we moved, right? He was very homesick and he was Have actually tricking us. Have you thought about playing Aseto Casa again? And yeah. GLI was on that shit the past week and it's fire cutting up W friends. Yeah, I'm gonna get back on that, man. I was talking to Cool Kid about that. Fuck. I got my fucking racing sim right there, too. I'm going to set it up. I have a whole fucking idea. I have a tough-ass stream in my head. 
I just have to execute it, bro. We're gonna do it this month. Facts, we are. That he couldn't walk for three months, and he was in a wheelchair that entire time, man. We were scared out of our mind. We thought that Jaden wouldn't be able to walk ever again. The doctors were telling us that oh, he's shit. having problems, this and that, man. It was a roller coaster of emotions, and he was doing that because he didn't want to go to class. He didn't want to go to school. He didn't want to go outside. He just wanted to be home because. He just felt, you know, very emotionally down, man. Like, he wanted to go back to the East Coast very bad. And um, it yeah. took that for us to, to notice that. You know what I mean? And um, it hit us very hard. But thankfully, thankfully, nothing is wrong with Jaden. That's the good part about it. And as you guys know, Mama Rez had an accident, all right? She had a really bad accident. Damn. I literally witnessed it in front of my eyes, man. That was a very traumatic situation. Everybody was scared, man. And just to clarify things, Mama Rez was in a motorcycle accident, not in a car accident, Damn. all right? So... I literally witnessed it in front of my eyes when she had the accident. I don't know if you guys seen in the videos in California when the driveway is like a steep, steep hill in front of the house. And um, she got on a motorcycle, a three-wheeler motorcycle, and she literally drove down the hill and she blanked out as soon as she got on the motorcycle, right? Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if she got scared or if she realized, like, she's in what a bad position. Um, she had a helmet on, thank God. But um, she literally rolled down the thing so fast that when she hit the bottom of the, the the street, she literally jumped off of the motorcycle and literally did so many 360s and then fell on the ground. As soon as that happened, I ran down there Check and- Check Chibu's IG story like, after this. What's Chibu up to, man? Like she was out of it, man, all right? um, I literally, her head was facing down and I lifted her head up and I literally, heard her, I, like I saw her scream Kaylin, wow. but then like go back into a fainting type of um state right um once that happened i was scared out of my mind i thought like maybe she was gonna lose her memory maybe she wouldn't be able to speak again maybe her back was ruined her neck i don't know that was crazy but thank god that she made it through all she had was some stitches um permanent scars but you know what is that when you when you're living you know a perfectly yeah, normal life healthy, man, you know? she also facts. couldn't feel her face for three months and there's something what? about seeing your mom possibly being unalive again and also getting a, a high risk of an injury that could potentially ruin her life forever all right and um part of me was very happy that she was okay but then a part of me was very down because that was a very traumatic experience man i do not wish that on anybody and then the vid came out in 2020 and um that caused me to be very isolated, just like everyone else on quarantine. What vid? And um, my social skills went down dramatically. What vid? What vid? What vid? Because of that, um, I gained a whole bunch of weight because of all my emotions, the way to cope with it, I was overeating. And um, trust me, guys, I ate a lot. Oh, that vid. This is what I used to look the like one. in 2021, man. Oh, what a glow up, man. Good for you. <laughs> Alex, I love to see shit like this, man. Look at him, man. He had a gut. And now, man... But his biceps is busting up the fucking, uh, am I glazing? My bad. And in just about a year, I gained that much weight. And when I gained that much weight, guys, that destroyed my mental health, man. I was already suffering from mental health before that, but even, <laughs> I was thinking that food was going to do the job. No, bro. I was literally overeating, and I got myself to that. That is not a great way to come back to YouTube. So at that point, I wanted to come back to YouTube, but then I looked like that. And I was like, wow, man, that is not... How long way, ago was you know this? I mean? And I didn't feel confident about myself. Well, this is when you the big came out. Is the key Two years. To YouTube because if you're not confident, then you're not going to appear on camera to, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So that was just not the way to come back. Guys, being 5'7", 230 pounds is a very heavy weight. All right? I felt very heavy. I looked horrible in clothes. I didn't feel confident with myself, man. And I see why people get in this constant loop of just gaining weight, gaining yeah, weight, gaining but that's weight. Yeah, because, fast, like, bro. You're sad that you're overweight, so the f and the food makes you happy, so you eat extra food, and it just makes everything worse, man. So it was a bad spiral. During everything that was happening... Hey, short niggas are, like... Short niggas are up nowadays, chat. Like, um... On average, like, short niggas... I've been just... I'm just gonna say it. Short guys have been in the gym, all right? They're really fit, okay, guys? Tall guys, you fell off. Nowadays, you fell off, chat, all right? If you're tall, if you're over six foot one, you fell off. I'm telling you, bro, when I go to the gym, it's straight short niggas in there. Everyone's under 5'7", all lifting, and they're all in fucking Gymshark tank tops, man. <laughs> My cousin, who was very close to me, passed away. And this hit me extremely hard, man. Um, I never experienced a close family member or, like, 
someone that close to me passing away. So it actually did hit me very hard, and he was so young. Um, that definitely threw me off my tracks for another couple of months. Um, I didn't want to go outside. Um, it was it was it was pretty bad, guys. And like I said, he was like my older brother, man. He was very very close like this, and. Um, yeah, so I had to do something about my weight, right? Obviously, I wasn't going to stay Facts. like that if I wanted to come back to YouTube. And it was just overall not a good life to live. You know, when my fans saw me in public, it was already bad enough that I wasn't uploading videos. I already Yo, that's it. the worst part, bro. Chat, when niggas see you in public, because they be telling you like, oh, you're more this than I thought. You're less this than I thought. You're shorter. You're taller than I thought. Nigga, you have a bigger forehead than I thought. <laughs> I don't need your fucking impressions of me, man. And so if you gain a whole bunch of weight, niggas be like, damn, you're bigger than I thought. And it's like, yo, bro, it just, it just sinks in, like. I first seen Agent, I was like, damn, this nigga really got a head on him. <laughs> and when I first seen uh, Rashid IRL, I was like, damn, this nigga has the world's longest bonnet. It was like fucking Rapunzel. That shit was, you could, it, it would spiral across the staircase and into the bedroom. I was like, nigga, what? Why do you have a bonnet that long? Just get a regular bonnet, Rashid. What do you, what do you, what are you hiding under there? What are you hiding underneath your long bonnet, good sir? <laughs> Fuck you, Rashid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nigga, I'm still downloading shit. No, this is crazy. What the fuck am I downloading, bro? Audio. <laughs> fuck it. I actually am now. Now this video's got more interesting. Now I got to the weight loss stuff and and like family stuff and stuff like that. Cause he's really explaining like what happened. Chat, like coming back. Like niggas not seeing you for a while, and the next time they that see you same being night disappointed. I overnight shipped a smaller bonnet. Damn, I made you self-conscious about your shit? <laughs> hey, man, my bad, Rasheed. That bonnet was good with me, though. I, was, I wasn't making fun of you. I was just saying it was the longest bonnet I've ever seen. That's all. Embarrassed to go outside because so much fans always notice me all the time, and I'm not uploading. I'm, uh, like, I felt horrible, especially when they saw me overweight like that. Oh, uh, for the new people who just slid in here... Uh, this guy's name is Mind Rez. He used to be like, he used to be a 2K streamer back, back, back in the day. And then uh, he did a couple of videos playing with his little brother. And then they, they fucking popped like millions of views. And uh, he went to Fortnite because Fortnite was getting really big in 2018, 2019. And he was daily uploading millions of views per video. Yeah, bro. Sometimes I'll look at his channel and be like, yeah, he probably made like 2 million that month. Like dead ass. The amount of shit he was pulling in. But like three, four years ago, if you was watching Fortnite, you definitely ran into a video of his or something like that. Bro, hey, bro. But he was racking it in, man. They could have res, res? Is that you? Bro, what? Like, yeah, man. It was pretty bad. So then I started hitting the gym. And that's when my whole life changed, all right? I started eating a very healthy diet. Started Facts. getting my protein in. Facts. Hitting the gym every single day. And staying consistent in the gym. I had to stay consistent and have a purpose of some sort in my life, right? Yeah. And the gym actually saved me mentally, man. All my emotions. Hey, I no funny shit, chat. Let me say this, bro, before I let Mandarez keep talking. Yo, I swear, if mentally you're fucked right now, I'm telling you, this is what you got to do, bro. Uh, if you can't afford a trainer, don't worry about it. Watch a bunch of videos on form. Get a program. Uh, I, me and Phantom are on Jeff Nippard's Push Pull Legs program right now. But, like, you can get on any program depending on your goals. You, a program is important because you don't go to the gym and just do random shit. Everything you're supposed to do is going to be on your program. You feel me? So I know what I'm going in there to do. You trust the program. You don't, you don't fucking fidget and move around. You just do everything on the fucking program. So now you know what you have to do. You just work on your form and do it every single fucking day. But I'm telling you, bro, it gets your mind right. I don't know why. Like, mentally, it just, it just like... It gives you more, but you get to a point where you don't even get sore no more. It just gives you more energy when you leave. And, like, it does give you, like, a sense of purpose low-key. I'm telling you, bro. If you're, like, mentally cluttered, try that shit. It might work for you, man. It works for a lot of people. Just let them go in the gym. And every time I come out, I go hard enough to make sure when I come out, I'm exhausted enough to not think about none of my problems. And they just go away, man. And it's actually a huge passion of mine now. And Makes you feel like that, you're bro, achieving something. Facts. I'm able to lift these heavy weights now, man. Ugh. Oh. No, there's no way this nigga had them right there for this joke. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Three pounds? These are Kalen's weights, man. What am I doing? I thought these were heavy. Oh my goodness, man. Relax, dude. It's just some weights, dude. Oh, relax, dude. It's just some muscles, dude. It's just a God gym, dude. Damn, man. Yo, that's tough. No funny shit. That's tough as fuck, man.
Oh! Now, around springtime of this year, 2022, I started meeting a whole bunch of fans when I went to New York, man. And, um... But what are y'all talking about? I just... What are y'all talking about? Chat, y'all just be... Man, things... Yeah, like, what are you... Where is this even coming from? Are where are we landing at? Somebody asked me, <laughs> what time are you coming back to YouTube? Like, when? When are you coming back to YouTube, Rez? And I actually told them summer of 2022. So screenshot. You guys I have didn't, my word I didn't coming screenshot. back in 2022. And guess what? You're not going to believe it. Something else happened. It's like something keeps happening that holds me back from doing YouTube. And I was like, man, I'm going to get over Yo, bro, okay, hold on. I have to address it. Big boy, appreciate the two months. Chibu, what are you talking about? This nigga Chibu is in the chat just fucking saying the first thought in his brain. I'm telling you, if Rez was in that jail cell with you, it's done, buddy. What does that fucking mean, bro? Why are you saying these things? Over these things, no matter what, man. But this one was really, really what? bad. What? So, um, what? I currently suffer from something called RCE. And it basically means reoccurring corneal abrasions. And you might be thinking, Rez, what is that? That's a lot of words, dude. What is that? And I'm about to tell you, man. It basically means that the top layer of my cornea where my eyesight is keeps tearing when i open my eyes in the morning and my, that's from my eyes being very dry apparently and no matter what i did eye drops drinking a gallon of water a day nothing sufficed i went to like seven different oh bo yo bo that makes my skin crawl a uh z pet appreciate you ben thank you for the one this nigga's eyes were so dry opening them tore his cornea oh my god yo that's fucking crazy I'm just trying to visualize that. That's fucking nuts, man. Jesus. Hey, yo, bro, if you're a healthy man, congratulations. If you're not, hopefully there's a path to healthiness, bro, because your health is the most important thing. We're taking that shit for granted until it disappears. Until it disappears. Different specialists, eye doctors, man. And they were all telling me different things. I'm like, whoa, whoa, relax, dude. It's just an eye, dude. Whoa, take it easy, man. I thought I was gonna go blind from that eye. I don't know what was happening, bro. And then one finally told me what it was. Basically, what I have to do now, man, is put an eye ointment under my eyelid every single night before I go to sleep to make sure that doesn't wow. happen for me to be able to do videos for you guys, man. Um, this is what my eye looked like every time I had a corneal abrasion. When I tell you it is the worst pain you will ever go through, it is the worst pain. You're ah. 10 out of 10 pain. If you guys want to, you can look it up. It is the worst pain ever, man. There was the no, worst. My eye was blurry. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't blink. I couldn't leave my eyes closed. I couldn't leave it open. Everything hurts. And um, yeah, man. So now that I have a solution for that, I'm in shape now. You know, I'm happy to come back to YouTube. I'm ready, man. And so the next video, I'm going to Ben refresh. If you sub, just refresh. You're not gonna catch an ad. To reveal to you guys how Jaden and Kaden look like and Mama Rez, man. And um, you guys are not gonna believe how Jaden and Kaden look like now, man. It is a complete difference. And I'm gonna reveal where we live now, man. Do we live at the old house? Do we live somewhere else, a different state? Where do we live? Where is Mind of Rez staying at now? All these questions are gonna be answered, man. Update of everything in my entire life. Next video, man. And I'm excited, He gave guys. me I'm video really blue balls. I missed you guys. Um, not doing YouTube. I was very, it's weird because I was very sad not doing YouTube because, um, you know, other things were happening in my life. So I, 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 I we're tapped in. We know why the fuck he didn't show up for two years. He's been in the gym, life happened, family issues and things of that nature. 